how to use Clubhouse for real estate agents. Clubhouse has taken the social media world by storm. The audio only, almost like live interactive podcasting platform has absolutely exploded over the last two months. And it's an incredible way to achieve many great results as a realtor from referrals to growing your social media platforms, your following, your personal brand. There's so many advantages to using Clubhouse right now as an early adopter. So what I want to do in this video is two things. I'm going to explain to you how to use it to build your brand and get clients. And I'm then also going to explain how to do a full tutorial. So let's start with the tutorial and get straight into it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pop into my phone right now and I'm going to pull up Clubhouse and show you an exact example of what you can be doing to use the platform. So we're going to go ahead and open up Clubhouse here, which you can see this little app in the bottom right hand corner. That's how it looks if you decide to look it up on the App Store. Now, one caveat is that for the time being, it is only available for iPhone. Now it will be opening up to Android in the near future and it will be opening up to the general public. And the reason why I say it will be opening up to the general public is that right now it's by invite only. So let's walk through this platform. I'll talk about the pillar pieces of information you need to know first, and then we'll get into some other things. So if we come up here to the top corner, you can see that in the top right, we'll click on my profile. You can have your headshot and then you've got a bio. Now you can write almost as much as you want in the bio here, but I recommend making sure that you have pillar pieces of information that define exactly who you are, which market you're from, what you specialize in, any sort of achievements that you've been able to do. So you can look at mine about my record breaking real estate group at eXp, who I've trained, you know, what I'm the founder of, as well as some information of what they can check out if they decide to look at me. Now, the first key thing that you need to know here, which is why this is so powerful is you can cannot message people on Clubhouse, which means that the only way that they can get in touch with you is to check your Instagram. So that's why it's important, as you can see down here in the bottom left hand corner, is that I've got my Instagram page connected and if people click on that, it takes you directly to your Instagram. That's incredibly powerful because again, by being able to connect your Instagram, it's such an easy way to grow your Instagram following. When you interact on Clubhouse, you start to get an insane amount of organic followers in your niche that I've never seen before. I get about 50 to 100 every single time I pop onto this platform and I'll explain how in a second. Now, aside from that, when we come back to the homepage, let's go through the different tabs and then I'll explain how to use it efficiently. So right next to our profile picture, we've got the notifications. So you can see the activity of who's following you as well as some of the different rooms or chat sessions that are about to start or that are starting that you are following. Now, when we come back here to a calendar, you've got all of the different upcoming events that are related to what your interests are. And I will get to that in a second here, but this just shows you all of the upcoming events. Now, when we come back here to this little mail icon, you can see that there's invites. And again, you have to be invited to Clubhouse by somebody that's active on here and has invites remaining. Whenever you come to the platform, you've got one invite, one invite only. Now, as you start to moderate rooms, start rooms, engage on rooms, you get more. So you can see that I have more to give right now. Now on the top left hand side, you've got the explore page. So you can search for your friends or different clubs to take part into. Now I wanna go back and show you the settings because whenever you're setting up your clubhouse profile, you get to select things like interest. Now select these very, very strategically because you don't wanna be seeing a bunch of rooms that you don't care about. So when you look at your interests, you've got all kinds of different things. I've segmented mine to tech and hustle, which is real estate, it's networking, marketing, branding, products, startups, things like that. So make sure that you do check your interest strategically because the platform will start to recommend any of the rooms or chats that are happening with any of your interests. And if you start to select something like indigenous or basketball or anime, or weddings or any of these other ones that I'm looking here, you will get served with rooms that are in those niches. Now, if you're not specifically wanting to engage or listen to those niches, then it's going to clutter up your feed. Now, let me explain about how to interact on Clubhouse. You can see here any of the clubs that are related to things that are of my interest. Now you have the ability to click on any of those rooms and let me explain what you need to be doing on Clubhouse as a real estate agent. Number one, you cannot record any of the rooms that are in there, which is why I can't show you any of them 
in this video, but what you need to be doing is there's three different ways you can interact on Clubhouse. Number one, as a moderator. A moderator is somebody that controls the room. There at the top, they've got the green icon and they are the ones that have control over who speaks, who doesn't, who comes up to speak, things like that. They either start the room or they allow other people in the room to be a moderator to control the topic of conversation. Number two are speakers. So people that raise their hand and by raising your hand, you have the ability to ensure that again, you can start to speak and ask the moderators questions. And number three, there's listeners, people that are just simply listening into Clubhouse. Now, how do you leverage it to get clients? How do you leverage it to actually build your personal brand? Well, the first way to build your personal brand is the fact that again, if you're speaking, the goal is to get to the top of the conversation. So you raise your hand when you're in these rooms, if you feel like you can provide value or if you simply just want to ask an educated question. But as soon as you get to the top of the room, every Everybody is looking at who's at the top. You can ask a very well thought out question that kind of demonstrates your experience on the topic of discussion and people are likely to go check you out, follow you. And when they follow you on Clubhouse, they usually go check you out on Instagram, which is why there's massive amounts of organic engagement. Now, simultaneously on top of that, if you start to create rooms that are in your niche, whether it be real estate masterminds or social media masterminds or anything related to something you'd like to talk about, that again is going to make you a moderator and people are going to be checking you out. It is the best way right now to organically grow your following on Instagram. And if you have something that drives your traffic from Instagram to YouTube, like your description or your bio or your link, that's another way to cross promote the audience. Now, how do you get clients on Clubhouse? I have never seen more referrals happen in my life than on Clubhouse. By being able to engage with agents from all over the place, you have such an incredible ability to build a quick relationship of people that are interacting on different markets. So I've seen multiple times people are saying, hey, I have a client that's looking to buy in Hawaii. Is there any agents on here that are from Oahu? And there usually always is. So the ability to get referrals, strategic business partners that are going to send you clients is unbelievable on Clubhouse. So I highly recommend people getting in because it's not going anywhere. It's only going to pick up steam. And right now, if you've got an iPhone, is the time to get in because once it opens up to Android, and once it opens up to the public, it's going to be a mess and it's going to be so hard to grow and scale using Clubhouse. So you want to get in, you want to use your foundation, build a following, and then start to interact. Make sure that you're getting to the top of the room. Make sure that your bio is filled out so that you can start to drive traffic to your Instagram and start to engage on the most relevant platform right now. If you have any other questions about Clubhouse, just drop a comment below. I've been very active on there and I want to help you crush it as well. Otherwise, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.